This is the lockpicking lawyer, and I got a fairly unusual request in the mail, along with this mechanism from a coin-operated locker. David M. writes, I might be the first person sending you a lock and not asking you to pick it, but I do want to know what's wrong with it. I'm the part owner of a bowling alley, and we recently replaced a bank of coin-operated lockers with electronic units that allow people to use credit cards and avoid the issue of lost keys. We've never had an issue with picking, but one of the reasons we replaced the lockers was that the money we collected each day was far less than it should have been based on usage. The lockers were in changing rooms, so we couldn't use cameras to monitor them. I've enclosed the entire mechanism from one of the lockers. Can you figure out how people are removing the key without paying? Thanks, David M. Okay, I'm going to focus on David's question, but if you do want to see one of these picked, I featured the same core about five years ago in video number 118. Now, to understand his question, you need to understand how these work. Before you insert a coin into this slot, the mechanism can't be locked and the key can't be removed. However, once you insert a quarter, you can fully lock the mechanism, then remove the key. Then when you retrieve your belongings, the key once again becomes trapped and the locker is ready for the next customer. The question becomes, can we trick this into thinking a coin is present? If we look in this little window on the side of the mechanism, we can see a finger extending when we try to lock it. It's that finger that checks to see if a coin is there. It's a simple and frankly crude method, and the defeat is equally simple and crude. I'm simply going to take this piece of metal and insert it such that it blocks that finger from extending. Note that I put a little bend in the end so you can't accidentally drop it in the coin hopper. After that, everything works normally. Let's try that one more time so you can see it was not a fluke. Okay, folks, it can sometimes be easy to forget that locks like this are designed to protect two people, the user of the locker as well as the owner of the locker. And in this case, the makers of the lock completely neglected one of them. So it's probably for the best that these locks are rarely seen anymore. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.